Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. My name is Andrew Kroger from Dagubi. In this Illustrator tutorial, I would like to show you how to create this Christmas background. In this tutorial, you need some snowflake brushes, like this. Please check out my video tutorial, how to create custom brushes, snowflakes, Adobe Illustrator tutorial 6. Create custom brushes. Or you can download this Adobe Illustrator file from our website, dagubi.com. When you've downloaded this file from our website, you find here these three snowflake brushes. Choose the paintbrush tool and you can draw with these brushes. Okay, I start with a new layer. Choose the Rectangle tool and create a new box. Non-stroke and for the fill choose a gradient. My gradient is this. Blue and white. On the right side is white. Now here This blue, this blue, and this. You can add more color or you can remove it. Please choose the gradient tool and you can scale this gradient like this. Okay, next choose the paintbrush tool, change the color to none fill, and for the stroke choose this dark blue. Change this dark blue to this, and now draw with the snowflake here a new stroke. Change the stroke white to two points. So next we need a clipping mask. Choose the rectangle tool and create a new box. Like this. So now go to the layers and this new rectangle layer is on the first place. The next step is deselect all. Choose the parent layer and click on this button Make Release Clipping Mask. Now you see the snowflakes is inside your clipping mask. Now you're ready to draw many of snowflakes. By the way, double click on the snowflake brush and you will find the scatter brush options. This is my options for the snowflakes. You can adjust this so or so. Try it out. Okay. So now choose the paintbrush tool and choose your brush and the color and you can draw with the snowflakes. You can also change the transparency of this snowflakes. Or the white. Change the color. Okay. 
or change the brush and set the opacity to 64 okay next we need a second gradient rectangle please make a copy from this first gradient and move it up move it on the first place and now change the gradient we need white and black make a double click on this um, handle and change it to white and this and this okay now go to the transparency panel and change the blending mode to screen so at last change the color to non-stroke and uh, non-fill in white stroke and throw now with white snowflakes Okay, next I'm going to add the type. Please create a new layer. Choose the type tool. Change the stroke to 36 points and change the type. Click on your artboard and you can write. Select this layer and click on Align Center. Now click on this horizontal Align Center. Make the type bigger, I think, to 70 points. Change the color to dark blue. and change this change this like this okay change the color to white, lock this layer, so now choose the rectangle tool and create first this rectangle and the second, please hold the shift key and create this rectangle, please rotate it by holding the shift key to 45 degree, now go to effects Distort and transform and click on Pucker and Plot. Enable the preview. That's OK. Go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. So now with the Rectangle tool, uh, with the Transform tool, 
transform it like this. Select both shapes and click on this align, vertical align center. And now go to the pathfinder and click on unit. So now move this here. You can scale it a little bit smaller. So now go to the reflect tool. Reflect tool. Hold the Alt key and click here on this center. The axis is vertical and click on copy. So now select both objects and group it and click on this horizontal align center. Next I'm going to add some swirls. Please choose the paintbrush tool, change the color to non-fill and white stroke and choose this brush. Change the size to three points and now create on this place a new swirl. Okay, now hold the Alt key and you can move this wheel and make a copy. Scale it smaller. Okay, now select this point and click on Remove Selected Anchor Points. Okay. Select both lines and go to Objects and click on Group. So now choose the Reflect tool and click by holding the Alt key here. Axis is vertical and click on Copy. So now select both groups and click again on group. Now click on this horizontal align center. Please hold the Alt key and the Shift key and move this up. Go to the Transform panel and click on Flip Vertical and scale it smaller. So next select this layer, go to Effects and Stylize and click on Drop Shadow. Enable the preview. So the color is this blue. OK. And here are the settings of my shadow. Click OK. In class, I'm going to make some corrections. The snowflakes are a little bit too dark. I open this layer and select this layers. Go and collect it in new layer. Select this layer and go to the transparency and make it more transparent. If you like, you can add more snowflakes. Please choose the snowflakes in the paintbrush tool and choose this blue.
Now I'm finished. I hope you liked this tutorial. Have fun and create your own Christmas card. Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.